Yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yakubo Mohammed. Today I want to do another video to show us how this oscillator card will work. This oscillator card. So I'll connect it to my power board and my power board with this. So basically, now like this, the first B. Uh, when I produce them from China, then help me do the SMB part. I consider the two holes. So maybe later if we do separately on top of this board, this is my power board. But basically, using the power board now, change the wire relay. This is not the change the wire relay. This one at the uh, 5 volt regulator. One a fan controller, which is a transistor to control fan. I hear the fan become, which is the fan. Then the, you see the conclusion, you see, say, I create this port now, the converter, the DC to DC converter for 12 volt. I don't need to convert, I will just loop and I make me loop while I go here. But if I do 24 volt, I will need to do 24 volt to 12 volt converter. So the board, the way I take design, I design a situation that the board will handle up to 48 volts. But for this test now for 12 volts, so far, the one test now for 24 volt anyway, but it's supposed to be handled up to 48 volts. So you see, said my MOSFET, there will get two drivers here. This is a total pole driver. And then they here now four. Then waiting there again for here now, the, this guy now, the, the thermistor to measure the temperature of the heat sink. So now they here. So at the temperature of the heat sink, they go up. You will see the temperature here. The, the heat, the thermistor will measure the temperature. Then uh, we get two connector. Here now DC to here now DC current sensor. And that DC current sensor. My DC current sensor, what I produce now with this. It's supposed to come here. Come here. Then I'll ta take a positive from here. But if you look at closely, you see the ice is not there. I make mistake on top of the board, so I go with producer. The SO the the package where I put this smaller than what I will so that I will think that this is older. So I will make the the IC package a little bit bigger than with producer. But basically it's supposed to come somewhere here. So I'm gonna measure the current of the that is going through the uh, battery or from the battery, depending on whether the inverter mode or inverter mode or uh charging mode you take. So I'll just keep this one somewhere here. So this other one, a future design I live for. We're going to feed the switch, the device off as fast as I want them. You see this current sensor. Here, I get current transformers. Current transformers will go somewhere here to measure the current of the, the load. So once I did, what are the power of this guy supposed to measure the current of the load? Then somewhere here, now the feedback transformer, they go there. Feedback transformer from from the inverter, if I get my transformer now, get my transformer now, the output of the inverter, I'll feed them back to this transformer so that I'll feed it regulate the voltage. Feed it adjust the voltage to be within another star for as much as for 220. So as we load them, in with the flow to it. This guy, this uh, transformer to sense, this transformer to sensor to know say if it adjust. Then the other one, another transformer to, a two transformer get one to the uh, the water feedback the one are for means to sense when means they're available then the other thing with the here now and what fix and what test and to the zero cross detector this zero cross detector then you can switch faster and they fit you and sense means because if you just measure the voltage for means as uh never the flow to it you can feel they give you wrong values so with zero cross detector if you actually know when it don't take light as fast as as you want them to know when you switch them or not So now the I see that. So what I will just do, I'll connect the board, then I go power on. Today video, I just to show the signal where they come up from this MOSFET. But now from here to this two terminal, now we're supposed to tie it to our transformer. I just want to see the signal we come up from these two points. So I will just pause the video and do the connection. Okay, so I don't connect them. As you can see, I don't connect them. If I connect them, I make sure see the I'm not confused sure if I connect. I'm sure see the configuration, the debug switch, the connected because if you don't connect the debug switch, the water will break on because it will not get feedback. So I don't connect and I have to power on now. Now I make a power on. Now so it's powered on. Okay, we don't come in. So we see the CD configuration where we said before now. The stick there, so this is the oscilloscope. 
day off. So I go on the inverter. Let's see. Go full on down. Okay. So you see the signal when it is water. See that will come up on top. These two terminal points. So now the signal with that. So what we will do to see the waves, how the sine wave will look like. We will connect them to. I just wire one small uh, arrow C filter. I will connect them. Before I connect, I make I pause then disconnect. Then I will connect. Okay, I don't connect them. So we will see the arrow C filter. We connect it to my head bridge. Not a day on. So we will see the signal. So now pure sine wave will be. So I'm just off trial for let's see. Okay, now again. Alright, so we'll see us in a pure sine wave. So for the next video I want to do, we'll come out this RC filter. We'll go put transformer. Then we'll get put out for the feedback. More like we'll go test the inverter fully, which is going to be in our next video. So that one I will test the inverter fully. For some of the feedback, I will still leave them out so that I want to do the video small, small, so that it not go too long. Um, so once again, thank you for watching our video. We see the appeal to us. I beg if you like our video, subscribe to our channel. Press hit our like button just to encourage us so that we can do more videos. Once again, thank you for the time. Thank you for your time.